The lunar day is exceptionally long. It's almost one month long, 29.5 days. When the astronauts landed on the moon, the sun was rising. When they left the moon, 33.5 hours later, the sun was still rising. It was just a little higher in the sky. All along the mission, we can see the shadows get shorter as the sun gets higher in the sky. The astronauts photographed the sun at the beginning of the mission, AS-1246-6806. They also gave us a photo of the flag with his full shadow at the same time, AS-1246-6866. The astronauts also photographed the sun at the end of the mission, AS-1249-7246. They also gave us a photo of the flag with its full shadow at the same time, AS-1248-7160. On the photographs of the sun, the fakes exceptionally gave us three reflections. The third one is inside the sun. If you don't see then your contrast and luminosity may be badly adjusted. These three reflections allow us to draw the direction of the sun with a good accuracy. The fakes also gave us a good depth in the landscape and an excellent horizon line. This allows us to measure the angle of the inclination of the sun at the start of the mission with quite a good precision. If you draw the lines on a print copy and measure the angle between the lines, you find an angle of 26 degrees. We do the same on the photograph of the sun at the end of the mission. With the same properties, the three reflections for the sun, and good depth for the landscape, and, this time we find an angle of 38 degrees. The inclination of the sun also determines the length of the shadows. It was interesting to have the lengths of the shadows of the flag at the beginning and at the end of the mission on the same photo. On this photo of the flag at the end of the mission, AS-1248-7160, we can see that at the location of the end of the flag's shadow, there is precisely a very convenient artifact which has been circled. On this close-up at the end of the flag's shadow we better see this artifact. This artifact has been underlined in red. The hole between the two edges of the artifact marks the end of the shadow. On the photo of the flag at the beginning of the mission we find the same artifact. It has been underlined in red in case you wouldn't see it. So now we can see the end of the shadow of the flag at the beginning and the end of the mission on the same photo. Let us make a print copy and measure the two lengths of the shadow of the flag. We find 125 mm for the shadow's length at the beginning of the mission, and 77 mm for the length at the end of the mission. Since we also have the angles of the direction of the sun at the beginning and the end of the mission, we can calculate at what height these lengths correspond. For the begin of the mission, flag's height equals 125 multiplied by tangent of 26 degrees equals 60.9 millimeters. For the end of the mission, Flag's height equals 77 multiplied by tangent of 38 degrees equals 60.1 millimeters. You can see that it's quite close. The problem is that, when we measure the height of the flag on the same print copy, we only find 30 millimeters twice less. And even if there is a correction to make due to the perspective, it still makes a lot of difference too much.